Hey guys, and you're in here with another episode of Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we hit some blocks. That was about all we did. Now, you might notice I'm a little off during this commentary. Well, that's because I had to record this in post-com, because, embarrassing as it is to admit it, I forgot to plug in my microphone before I started recording. So expect a significant drop in the quality of my recording, because I already know everything that's going to happen. Going to derp around a bit here, running in circles. Then <laughs> I derp and made Mario Luigi. I'm trying to make Mario go down there. Then I'm like, oh hey, bean spot. Now I keep trying to make Mario hammer Luigi by jumping. We gotta hit this barrel, go over here. Right up here, actually. And I broke the barrel. Yeah, that was smart. And now I have to leave the room and come back to get it reset. It's kind of annoying, really. I did this a lot when I first played this. I made a lot of stupid mistakes when I first played this. Now I'm going to say right here. Don't those bo- Those wires look just like a Koopa face, don't they? And I missed the wall. There we go. This time I got it right and I turned the mirror. Which went down here. Which went over here. Which went over there. Which stopped here and opened that door. Because mirrors reflecting light back to their source apparently is a trigger to open doors. I have no clue how. I have to high jump off up this cliff. Completely ignore the save point this time. Statues. Mirrors. I always try to walk down the middle of that beam because it looks so entertaining try to go over here for some reason, because I've never been in here, and I hit a random block. Now, I suck that random block. As you can see, I keep hitting it with the wrong brother. Or I keep taking way too long to react to the block appearing. I'm pretty bad at that. I'm also bad at quick draw games, like the old one on the NES. Or the old one in arcades, I mean. I think it was arcades, might have been NES, might have been both. I think it was a Wii Zapper. I think it was a... Ugh. I'm only talking about Wii Zapper. I think it was an NES Zapper. <coughs> Game. I wasn't on form at all during this session. This recording was atrocious, and I am embarrassed thoroughly about it. Seriously, this is terrible. I'm going to have to pause here for a second. Okay, so I have verified that it does in fact work and I am doing this properly and my microphone is plugged in, so we are back. I had to verify that the recording was working because Camtasia Studio is a little weird about doing audio narration over a video. Anyway, fast forwarded there, save state, avoid the laser sniffets, and hit some more blocks, get a mushroom, a who bean. There are lots of who beans in Woo Who University. Pretty amazing, huh? Who would have ever guessed that? That there are who beans in Woohoo University. <sighs> Actually, guys, I was kind of thinking, you know, like, I said I was going to do Kirby Superstar, and that might become a side project, but. I kind of want to do Mother 3. I know it's the game that every big LP has done, Chugga Conroy and Nintendo Capri Sun, namely, have both done Mother 3, but it's still not been done very much by the community at large. It is played a lot, a fair bit, but... It's a wonderful game. I love the story of Mother 3. I love its humor. I love the enemy designs. I love the music, especially. That game has incredible freaking music. The music of Mother 3 makes puts this game to shame, except maybe Popple's theme, because Popple's theme is just amazing. If you want an example of a few personal favorite tracks of mine, look up the tracks Fate or Serious and the track Backbeat Battle from Mother 3. And you'll see what I mean by awesome music. You might have heard me drumming on the table with my cup there. That was me drumming the pattern to Fate Slash Serious. You see, Mother 3 has a little thing kind of, I'm not going to talk about Mother 3 here. There's a barrel here on it. It hits the statue when you try to use it. 
I kind of forgot about this part here when I first did it, so I was like, wait a minute, what? And then I kept doing it, and I kept commenting that, see, there's nothing you can do right now, and if you try to use the barrel here, it won't work, because I totally forgot you need to go and do the other thing. And I tried to play it off as a demonstration, which is kind of silly. <clears throat> I remembered the moment it happened, though, so there was that. I just displayed it a few times, and then I broke the barrel. After I displayed it one more time. For some reason, I cannot possibly comprehend. And then I broke the barrel, and I ran around in a circle, and I went over here. And I forgot you can't, don't need to high jump up the sledge. I'm like, wait a minute. And then I went up here, and I tried to spin jump across, and I tried to high jump across that ledge, which didn't exactly work. Spin jumping there is a no go. Spin across here, spin across here. Oh my god, it's a lever. What the button. Lever. What am I talking about, levers? It's not a lever. It's a button. I've got a lever of my own. Okay, I'm going to stop quoting Chuck Norris now. And then we go into this seemingly pointless area. I mean, who on earth designed the Hooniversity to require a person the size of Midget Mario to go through this area in order to attempt to find a single switch which activates the crane? And who built these plugs that are inaccessible under the walls? This entire thing just seems kind of stupid. Just, who on earth designed this? My god! Hmm. Made Mario bigger there, of course. Well, I want to talk about how devious the creators of Earthbound were when they put in anti-piracy in it, because Earthbound's related to Mother, because Earthbound's actually Mother 2 in America, you know. Anyway, they are pretty devious about anti-piracy. There were several early ones, but... If you managed to circumvent then, them, there was one last one to surprise you. Right before the final fight with Gigas, or Gigas, Gigas, I'm not really sure how it's spelled, I completely forgot. Yeah, it's been a while. Like most things, it's been a while. Right before it, right when, well, people who have beaten it know who I'm talking about, those who don't, I don't want to spoil it, finishes his speech. Right before you're about to do the fight with Gigas, or Gigas, I don't, still don't remember that. The game freezes. There's no way to break the freeze, so you have to reset your console. And when you come back, and I can't help but thinking that this devious little part of it was all Itoi's plan. I mean, come on. We all know Shigesato Itoi is one devious bastard. He must have come up with the idea that after it freezes, it deletes all of your saves. Every single save in the entire thing, gone. You have to start from square one, because ha ha ha, you're a pirate. Yar har fiddle dee dee, being a pirate is not alright to be, because you'll lose all your save games! Ah, water's so nice. Here, I can go back up this way and come back to the sponge up up here, because I was getting tired of going, I accidentally opened the menu! Whoops! Koopa face wires. I'm never going to get over the fact that the wires look like a Koopa face. They've always looked like that to me. I have no clue why. Now, if you get in that barrel and let the lightning shot hit you, it'll go up there and fizzle out the control panel, which opens the crane. And for the second time in the series, and in this game, Luigi is stolen by a cargo crane. The guy has so much luck in that, doesn't he? Here I'm going to give you a little example of what the, it looks like when Mario's password, when Luigi's password comes up. Luigi! And I screwed around for a bit, holding L and R. You can see Luigi actually has some pretty hot stats on him right now. Seriously, he's like a better character than Mario at the moment. Here I do something really stupid. Come on, Eker, show me what you got. 
and then I kill him. And then I decide to let this guy hit me so I can hit him and turn him yellow. Completely forgetting that if I had hit him, I could turn the yellow one blue. I mean, I could turn him to yellow if he was blue. And then get into a fight with a laser snippet. And a yellow bro. The Obros have this, some of the silliest costume designs here. I have no clue what they're supposed to be. Are they like rappers with spiked yo-yos or something? Look at those shades, man. I mean, I know they're Koopas, but... They're like MC Hammer without parachute pants? I don't know. I'm being really weird right now. So laser trip it. Jump through that hoop and then attack him before I die. I only have 8 HP left and I need to really heal, so I'm going to go into my menu and I'm going to stop singing. And here I notice that I have the Chuckachino here, so I give him a syrup and then I give Mario the Chuckachino because he could use the defense. Excuse me. And then Donkey Kong happens. And Luigi goes through the pattern of Mickey goes through his usual pattern of making weird voices. Oh my god, I'm just... so many hiccups. I don't know what happened. I hope this hiccuping doesn't become constant throughout this LP or it's going to be very, very weird. Jump over that barrel, jump over that barrel, wait for that barrel to pass, jump up here, jump up there, try to jump over this barrel, succeed, jump over this barrel, jump over this barrel, jump over this barrel, Jump over this barrel. Jump over this. Nope. Nope. Try to hammer a barrel. This isn't Donkey Kong. Hammers don't affect steel barrels, Mario. What are you doing, man? I'll jump over this barrel. Try to jump over this barrel. Try to jump over this barrel. Try to jump over this barrel. I'm trying to focus on this and talk to you guys at the same time, which was really difficult. And I fail at the same barrel. And I fail right here. I almost fail right there. Then I go up here. Go up here. Jump over that barrel. Try to jump over that. Jump over that. Jump over that. I think I fail this time too. I'm not really sure. Yep. Then I just get aggravated and fail again right at the beginning. Then I go again. Then jump over that one. And then I just completely go screw it and start jumping over all the barrels like a crazy person, not even bothering to realize that I can dodge them easily. Then I jump up here, uh, avoiding the barrel that tripped me up every time, and I just make it straight up. Okay guys, I had to split up this commentary again because Grandma had something she needed to tell me. And we... rescued Luigi? Maybe? No, Luigi, what are you doing? That's not how you do a barrel roll. Really, stop that. Dude, there's no incoming enemy fire. Stop doing a barrel roll. You're not dodging anything. When I did that last one there, the one I did so perfectly, I wasn't paying attention. All the previous times when I failed horribly, I was paying attention, but when I stopped paying attention, I started doing well. What kind of logic is that exactly? And right about here is when I end off this episode, so... Uh, this has been Anirian, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Alright guys, see you then.